Hey, Redcon Raider here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. As today, the gang's all here. We've got Charlie and Delta regrouped, rested, and re-equipped over on Chalet de la Pas. And we've also got Alpha back on the move. They spent some time topping off their gear and scouting out the surrounding territory, so we now have intel deeper into this island cluster. Aside from that, you'll note that uh, Delta is joining Alpha in taking Ilmarat. But we've got Charlie making a Wasser grab for the Southern Island. Because uh, it has been highlighted that I should make sure we control all of the mines sooner rather than later. And then, you know, once we take the mine and the port, we'll just kind of cruise around a bit. It does look like, aside from the farm, it's mostly empty space. Oh, uh, also, also... I was planning on waiting on this diamond shipment. I don't know what's going on with them, though. Uh, Delta crossed half the map in the time it's taken them to move three grid squares, so... At this point, we'll just let the militia deal with it. Let's get started. Oh, and Delta's first on site. That's unexpected. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go get lucky. All right, so what do we got here? We've got the usual combat markers and a corpse already marked as empty for some reason. Interesting. Plus the main camp. That, that feels like the most likely place for NPCs to gather, so let's start there. Yeah, Doctor. Cool. We're moving out. Schleeman, my man. What? There's an ancient burial ground underneath us. You should always be careful when dealing with the dead's final resting place. Also, Bernard, I guess. They say this place is cursed. A director was shooting some kind of a movie here. Three years later, the whole crew died under mysterious circumstances. For real? Dealing with ancient curses is an occupational hazard in our field of work. I assume you heard about the curse of Onye Island, we? Oui? Um... No? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, it says here, Look into the eyes of the three-headed beast. The right head sees into your future, the left head looks into your fortune. Hey! Don't sneak up on me like that! And forget anything I said about the three-headed beast. There's no such thing! Bernard, buddy, I, I didn't sneak up on you. We were in mid-conversation. Are you okay? Fortune and glory, my friends! Fortune and glory! Yeah, yeah, you too, buddy. Come on, Schliemann. Don't be afraid of that curse. It only works on desperate, independent filmmakers. <laughs> As you wish. Oh, I love these guys. I can feel it in my guts. The great treasure of the three-headed monkey. God damn it, Schliemann. What did I tell you about playing with frying pans? <laughs> okay. You remember Schliemann, right? It seems my fellow raider of lost... Poor Bernard. Schliemann keeps bringing him to the bright places, treasure. but... Things never quite seem to pan out. Maybe there's some good shit in here. Uh, gear, I mean. Fuck. On my way. Fall in and yell out if you see something. <laughs> Mining is hard work, but it beats hanging around at the refugee camp. Sort of. The stone slab atop the sarcophagus is way too heavy to be moved. Is that so? Oh. After a solid push, the stone slab is shoved aside. There is a hidden treasure inside the sarcophagus. 
And we didn't even have to find that three-headed monkey Bernard was going on about. Oh. Uh, or maybe we do. Uh, apparently... Right. Apparently this was just Ride a random on. piece of side treasure. Sure. The search continues. The search is concluded. This looks like a pile of dirt, no different than anything else around here. Just kidding, it's definitely a tomb of an ancient warrior, and he's definitely buried with something valuable. And there you have it. The treasure of not the three-headed monkey. Okay. Scully here. Okay, we should really find this three-headed monkey. Every journey begins with a single step. Which is easier said than done, because classically speaking, three-headed monkeys are always right behind you. Come on. Oh, for goodness sake. We go there, partner. And you know what? It was actually right behind Bernard. Three animal skulls are looking in different directions. Right, and he said, um, the left head looks to our fortune. Sure. Come on. All right. Oh, for... Okay, apparently he meant the other left. One of the skulls would make a nice trophy. Blah, blah, blah. Just kidding. Something unnatural about this pile of bones. There's more treasure. And there we go. Man, so three treasures. It's me, Thor. You got it. Honestly, it should have been three masks if they wanted to stick with the theme. Fortune and glory, my friends. Fortune and glory. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, you too. They're really. Um, I suppose I can't really blame him for whiffing on this one. Let's go, compadres. Whoever assembled that Halloween prop over there apparently didn't know they're left from right. Or, you know, what a monkey is. Oh, no, why? But we move on. Continuing to destination sector. Honestly, still kind of shocking they didn't give Bernard and Schleeman their own portrait. Plantation. All right, let's give the map a quick sweep. Sure. Okay. Let's go for a walk. Can't go down there. Yeah, okay. Let me just sweep the edges, then we'll... Let's go. Circle back on the plantation. Outstanding. And release. Repair effigy. Time to go around unnoticed. If someone built an effigy this close to Camp Chien Sauvage, it may lure some Legion soldiers out to investigate. I mean, it's the army holding it now, but sure, why not? When I was little, I would hide from everyone. The effigy was repaired. Plus five loyalty. That's it. Enough with... Uh, well, this is awkward. If I'd realized that would have happened, I would have gone for cover. This mad! That fucking beast has crossed the line! This is too- Where are they, Dad? Yeah, sorry about that. I did kind of want to- Oh, look at that. This should do it. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to let that play out, but they were coming right at us and it was too late to hide, so here we are. Z 
They're looking at me. They must recognize my face from movies. It's me, Thor. Be the bullet. Overwatch this. Oh. Success. Yes, partner. Great shot from here. Smile, you on camera. Cool. <laughs> Larry, you uh you good? I have no cover here. No evildoer can stand before you. Scully here. Free when you are. Yeah, mate. Outstanding. And the beast isn't feeling chatty. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, and and she's gone. Fall in and yell out if you see something. Every journey begins with a single step. On our way. Oh, hey there. Whoa, man. I think I found something. Let's go for a walk. I never liked Alphonse Lafontaine. He just wants to take money from my pocket and look good doing it. Not my president. All right, well, you know, I was really kind of hoping you'd have something more useful for me, and... No problemo, man. Not that, but thanks. Cool. It's got a cute little lock. I could jimmy it for you. Of course, I could also just blow it or kick it open. Oh. Honestly, I kind of thought this place would be abandoned. What kind of wackadoos live out in the cursed forest? I should be working out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. On my way. We all go now. All right, I think we're good. Camp Chien Sabage, army of 12. Theoretically easy to handle, but you know what? Let's um let's clear the rest of the cursed forest first. What? We'll tag an alpha before we tackle the tougher targets. I have arrived. I shall meditate until needed. Alpha's on site. Middle of anywhere. Let's see what we've got. I want to see some hustle out of this team, Woody. Let's set up a spec op here. Duly noted. You wish me to crawl like a whipped dog? We will do this with great gusto. You know, um, once we know where they are. Going low and slow. Aha, uh -huh. I see, I see. Moving undercover. Push up until we've got visual. Look, something. Then we'll just there. kind of play it by ear from there. The backheads will not see me. Enemy presence. There we go. Veteran Butcher? I'm not sure we've seen those before. Also, Fraw Bags. We'll have to mind the friendly fire. My approach will go unnoticed. 
Veteran Butcher. I mean, obviously, um... May the spirits hide my footfalls. Obviously a close range enforcer type. Maybe that's how they differentiate the shotgunners from the melee guys now. The prey is Let's get this guy in the chopping block. Nice. Yeah, you traitor! I would kill you for the major! I am here. Discretement. If the wind holds steady, this will work. The prey dare not move in front of me. Got another butcher flying the coop. But, gunner next. You got my undivided attention. Target visible. Double nice. The major will hear of this. Who you still got it, Len? Ain't no doubt about that. Alarm raised. We've got a scout. Yes. Push up. Clear the marauder. It be killing time. Actually. Might still be more lurking out of sight, so we shouldn't overexpose. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, two in the barn. I am but a dream in a slumbering world. Inescapable will of fate flows through. Oh, put down! Waiting for orders. Sir. Need to finish off that butcher. What's the play? <sighs> this dog just ain't gonna hunt. Orders. That's it. Oh. That'll do. Though, the scout in we the barn is now alert. Fine with me. Set cone. I have a good shot at this fool. If they move, they die. You got it. This'll be good. Scout's hunkering, so we'll just have to hope for the best. I am on the power. You got my undivided attention. Fingers crossed. When's foreign I supposed to be bad at shooting? The major said we are ten times better. Yeah, yeah, not a great place to run. My tub. Yes. Okay. That worked out great. Let's uh let's wrap this up. Marauder's easy, so let's start with the scout. Is to have truly lived. Oh, okay. Forget about that one. Change of plans. Oh, oh, I am wounded. Squeezing the trigger. Ah, C'est super, ma chérie. There we go. Yes. Now we can wrap it up. May the spirits grant me safe passage. Out, out. We? Oui? No way. This will not work. C'est très facile. Mm. 
Do not be discouraged. Focus. The prey will not see. They will not know from where the shot comes. Nice. Got a view to a kill here. That's your kill. I await. Probability of success is high. You didn't have to shoot those useless goons. They're no match for a skilled hunter like me. The Ajani is teeming with hunters who are skilled at bragging. Oh. Let us get this safari moving. Well, this will uh, this will certainly be interesting. Let's grab our loot, then we'll uh, we'll hit the bags. Oh, I can't resist. Come, we go. There's a beast that terrorizes these woods, but I have almost tracked it down already. To say almost tracked is the same as saying you have done nothing at all. If I ever catch you digging around the trees on my property, the hunting season will be open for you. It is my treasure to find. I like to hunt les braconniers. For me, it is always open season. <laughs> I can't rest while innocent, frail old ladies like the one next door are depending on me to catch the beast. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Did my useless brother send you to search for Pa's money? Tell him not to bother. It takes a real tracker to track down buried treasure. Let me see your profile. Wait, just as I thought. Your head would look better with a pair of horns nailed to it. Farming is useless. I have a beast to track, and a treasure to find. I better stick to farming, mon ami. I can't rest while innocent, frail old ladies like the one next door are depending on me to catch the beast. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was great. Heading out. I love that, uh... The secrets will be revealed. I love that Flay is suddenly feeling a lot more chatty. Honestly, um, that is one of the bigger bummers of getting this far into the campaign. We are moving out. Is that a lot of the characters, you know, just inherently become less talkative. Let's move it, people! As you burn through their, their, their stockpile of pre-canned commentary. If that is your wish. You know, half the point of the franchise is the quirky mercs. Squad forward! Though to be fair, we haven't really hit a lot of story locations recently. Let's go. It will be done. Maybe we'll hit that town before we take the outpost. The towns usually have at least one or two portrait-worthy NPCs. C'est parti. I mean, the combat's fine. They are getting a little tougher at least, but I yearn. I yearn for that quirky commentary. Sure thing, Woody. Ooh, lockpicks. On the one character who needs them the absolute least. Let us get this safari movie. I think we're clear. Though, Prob Bags is still tagged. Huh, weird. I mean, we know where the treasure is at this point. It's, um, down here. At middle of somewhere farm. Anyway, let's, uh, keep moving. I'd like to push for at least two more tiles today, though... Preferably, I'd like to link up at D16 before we wrap. Get our guys poised for a major target next time around. I'm here, mate. Delta on site. Hyena layer. Interesting.
Okay, we've got another broken effigy. And some sort of sacrificial altar. Along with human remains. We may have just come across the beast's dumping grounds. As you wish. All right. When I move quietly, I can hear nature's heartbeat. Really? Nothing? My babusia taught me to hunt this way. Huh. Never look see over here, mate. Okay, guess we're clear. We go there, partner. No problemo, man. Zoo's out, mate. Oh, right, right, yes. Oh, no way. Hyenas. That's fine, we'll just pelt them real quick. A brief moment of pause. This will surprise them. I was better at hiding than I was little. Sorry, dog cat. Surprise shot from here. Yeah. I will fall on them like a tree in the forest. Sorry, cat dog. Creeping up on some rustlers. Rustler won't know what hit him. Sorry, Whoopi. When I was little. I would hide from everyone. Keeping low and quiet. I've got 21 kids. I'm pretty good at keeping an eye out, yeah? Like a cowboy ninja. Time to go around unnoticed. And apologies to Ed. Wait a minute. Take a deep breath. And release. You know, I wouldn't feel nearly as bad cool. about killing these poor guys. If they actually dropped something, you know, so I didn't feel like I was just killing them and leaving them to rot. Fall in and yell out if you see something. You know, I'm not inherently against the idea of hunting, but I do feel like if you're going to kill something, you should at least make use of it afterwards. On our way. So I suppose that does get into like a weird spot, I guess. Like maybe they felt that they would be glorifying poaching or got it. or trophy hunting. We're moving out. If they actually allowed the player to pick up sure. prizes. Now here is a curious thing. By killing random animals. Posse moving. But I mean, that would be more the case, I think, if the animals were not inherently hostile, which As you wish. Obviously they are. We're on our way. We're on our way. It just does feel like a small miss. Every journey begins with a single step. On my way. And I think we're good. One more tile to hit our quota. Two more tiles to hit our goal. Let's go. Alpha on sight. In what looks to be a cursed deforest. I actually really appreciate how much effort they went to to differentiate even the filler tiles from each other. Again, they they put a lot of effort into visual storytelling. I have seen better, but usually just in CRPGs, you know. It is unusual for a squad forward. A top-down turn-based tactical. I we should check this. Nice. Plus one wisdom. If that is your wish. Follow me. 
I'm sure I've said it before, but... All right, we're moving out. One of the biggest things that kills my interest in a game, you RPG, tactical or otherwise, is soulless... Sure thing, Woody. You know, copy-paste style. It will be done. Or hastily thrown together environments. Heading out. Oh, wow. Nice. I'll take that. Um, Understood. Moving. I'm not going to name names, but yeah, there are definitely games that that feel like they're phoned in when it comes to environmental design. We are moving out. Though to a certain extent, that's also, I suppose, a symptom of more and more developers leaning on procedurally generated environments. Which, on the one hand, does extend the lifespan of a game. But at the same time, you know, those environments are then we be strolling. inherently soulless because they are literally being created by machine algorithm. Heading out. Got it. We shall go. All right. A wise plan. Let us get this safari moving. Come. We go. Long ramble short. Developers, put some effort into your environments. These guys did, and I appreciate yeah, it. Let's go. Even if there wasn't much to see in this particular sector, it still stands out from the others. If just for the overgrown... All right. ...construction equipment. And that, combined with the other themes of Civil War, the Cursed Forest, the uh, Beast, it all paints a picture, out. which is certainly more interesting than simply finding yet another generic forest clearing. Anyway, let's uh, push on. I think we do indeed have time for one more. Let's move it, people! Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're actually better on time than I thought we were. Delta will clear the sector, then they'll wait on Alpha. And then I think we will push Il Murat. It makes more sense to go after Savage, but I'd really love more story content. What? Oh, right. I completely forgot about Charlie. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, sorry. Just recalibrating my brain real quick. Um, yeah. Okay. I guess we're doing this. Let's get in there. Ugh, fog again. Gosh darn it. It really, really does feel like they're throwing more weather at us these days. One foe in sight. Oh, right, we have live wire. All foes in sight. Yeah, I'm getting so used to running with um, Delta and Alpha at this point that that it is a genuine treat when we go into battle with Livewire in tow. Because, man, that is a huge difference, just being able to immediately ping where everyone is. Huh. These guys are actually scattered all over the place and... Fairly small clusters. Sure. Let's, uh... uh... I was never good at hide and seek. Quiet. Oh. oh. Okay, hold on. We've got a bunch on the move. Beelining for conversation, perhaps? This plan sucks. I did not think there would be so many of those a mercenaries. I heard there's at least one company of 100 soldiers, not to mention their air support. No, no, there were at least two hundreds of them. That explains why they sometimes attack two sectors at the same time. I mean, technically, technically if we count all the militias, I guess. All right, let's start stabbing. I'm good at making people ignore me. Not a problem for a mouse. Good chance at a sneak attack here. I'm good at making people ignore me. 
One out. I'm good at being overlooked. Be careful. This mouse bites. Man, these guys are moving all over the place, though. Um, they cannot hit what they cannot see. Not with much evident purpose. Right as a church mouse. Yeah, they're just kind of meandering now. Quiet as a church. Careful. This mouse bites. We are under attack. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Those three are oblivious. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? Can't you ever saw me? And we're good. Keeping it on the down low. Enemies whittled down to nine. As long as there isn't a cat nearby, I should be able to get away with this. And now eight. Fall back. I repeat, fall back. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea, guys. They cannot hear. Mouse here. Stressful, but I'll do it. I am just realizing that, like, the floors of all these buildings are dug up. Uh, I was never good at hide and seek. That's intriguing. I'm sure there's a story there. Aiming. Ready to shoot. Uh, uh, I'm in trouble. Well, you're not wrong. I will that was a fluke. Trying to be quiet. Good odds, I believe. And then there were six. Trying to be quiet. Count a sneak and peek. Tag the straggler. I will try to remain hidden. We can probably use that. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? This plan sucks. Careful, this mouse bites. I'm good at making people ignore me. I'm okay with just running and hiding. And five. Oh, for a mouse. Though I think they're all clustered up. Oh, do we have to go up that catwalk? Oh, no, here we go. This is always the best way to do things. Right behind us, Sully. This sneaky shit ain't my style. Man, even the normal mining pit looks weird. They cannot hit what they cannot see. What is with this place? We'll ask around a bit once we finish these last guys off. Rocket launcher on the catwalk. That's our biggest threat. Um, quietly? Like this? I will try to remain hidden. We'll set up in this bunker. Lead with a knife run. I'm good at making people ignore me. Not a problem for a mouse. Mouse can cut and run. Take one down easy. Quiet as a church mouse. Oh, but let's bring ice in as backup. Yes. They cannot hit what they cannot see. Ready when you are. I'm good at making people ignore me. Here we go. We'll go for the gunner. Well, one of them. Look alive! 
We are under attack. Now go for the other. Okay. Uh, they are everywhere. I need to reposition. Ah, dang. Uh, 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 I'm in trouble. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure they didn't set cones. Stressful, but I'll do it. Hey, nice shot, tits for brains. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? Now, you. I much prefer combat like this. This is so exciting! Oh. Okay, well, that complicates things. Don't be ridiculous. Yes? We'll have to go heavy. We cannot risk leaving him in the wild. Oh, for goodness sake. No. No, let's see if we can wrap around. What's up, player? On my way. Thug for life. Taking casualties! Great job! That looks super professional and everything. Decent chance, given they don't see me. Good chance of me, um, not missing. Maybe he can be saved if I... Oh, that's not the point, is it? No. No. Not, what? Not really. Aiming. Yes? Um, we're going, right? Not much of a fight, but still pretty fun. Actually, I had to think a bit there. Not much on drops. We've already got enough rocket launchers. We'll scrap that. But we will take the rockets. And you know what? Give me a sec. I'll, uh, I'll canvas this place real quick off screen. Ping any points of interest. Grab any common loot. Then we'll just touch on the highlights. Be right back. And we're back. And uh, yeah, place is fully looted. For the most part, nothing notable. Lots of common gear. Though, as you can see... The locals started digging their houses up again the second we, um, took out the guards. No named NPCs either, just the soldiers and the villagers. Though we do have this merchant's table, and we have a point of interest in the dug-up church. I guess the general gist here is that they found traces of diamonds in their village and started undermining their own foundations. Which is a fun concept. It, it definitely sets it apart from the other mines. Fine. Ooh, we padding. Yes, I will take that, please. Let's go check out the church. Word up. Remember what the pastor said. We delve too greedily and too deep, and have awoken a dragon who will eat our souls. Well, I see no dragon, and the legion shot the pastor anyway. Exactly. Don't you see? They are the dragon. The holy man knew right from the start. That much is true. He was the first to start digging. If you ask me, he just wanted to scare us so there would be more diamonds for himself. Aha! Much needed context, thank you. And it turns Let's out go. I was pretty close. All this started with the pastor. 
He was doing some repairs and the workers discovered diamonds under the church. People found out and we all started digging. But then the Legion got wind of the whole thing and came here swarming like jackals. I wonder when I'll be summoned to the witch's hut to be horribly and relentlessly used for sex to satisfy the needs of her wicked satanic rituals. They say that in the morning the victims of the wicked witch are completely drained because they had to fulfill her perverse sexual desires all night long. I'm full of... Uh, concern. Right, right, yeah, you... You certainly sound like you've got a lot of pent-up concern you'd like to drain. Okay. It's all hair doing. Wait. I thought she was just enchanting men and using them for sex. Not playing with toys. Yes, but after she satisfies her needs with them. The witch turns them into teddy bears and sends them to kill people and take their kidneys. God and spirits! That's why I sell protection. You should buy some. Huh. I doubt you have my size. <laughs> my wife told me that you hire workers and pay well. I'll come and sign up. Okay, this, this story about a sex Tonight, witch just took a I'm really weird a turn. New job with my friend with um, the bit about bareback causing people to turn back into bears. We're moving? We're moving. God bless Lammy the witch. When I sent her gifts, she performed a ritual and told me exactly where and when to dig. And I found three diamond specks the same day. You're the boss. There is an open Bible on the pulpit with lots of notes and odd-looking scratches scribbled in the margins. The notes and scratches are probably some sort of code, perhaps suggesting where the paranoid pastor was hiding the diamonds he found. Unfortunately, the code is indecipherable. Hey, neat! This code is the same one doctors use to write prescriptions. The notes and weird marks are a sort of code that indicates a specific passage in the Bible. Jeremiah 17.1 Could it be a clue to where some diamonds are hidden? The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their hearts and upon the horns of your altars. Uh, you mean like these? Um, affirmative? It's not really stealing from a church if the church isn't being used as a church. A lot of people don't know that. Right. Thanks, Livewire. I mean, I, I was going to take him anyway, but uh, but good to know. Oh, good. $500. Just as it was hinted in the passage of the Bible, there are some diamonds hidden in the horns on the um, table. Michael here. Okay. You know, the funny thing is that line Livewire dropped there wouldn't even have to be unique to this specific situation. I can think of at least one other church you can take a treasure from. So she could have just as easily used it there. Not a problem. And I think we're done? Unless we can find something that looks like a pen of iron. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll look for that off screen. Let's just get some operations going. We're running a bit long here anyway. Yeah, so we'll have Charlie get some militia going. We'll do some scouting, start filling out intel. And I guess we'll have the last two top off our gear. That sounds pretty good. I'm actually almost tempted to skip Militia at this point, but we do still technically have the Legion sending out patrols, so the last thing we need is to leave a place unguarded only for them to beeline right to it, you know? That said, you know, we've come this far. Let's go ahead and take D16 too. Finish up the Cursed Forest, set the stage for our march on Il Morat. 
Just trying to make sure I don't lose track of anything here. On location. And another forgotten grave. Interesting. As you wish. Oh yeah, there it is, right on that ledge over there. We're on our way. Okay, so secret stash. Creepy house. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty creepy. It's like a seven out of ten on the creepometer. Broken bridge. Possibly something in that tree stump over there. Scully here. All right, let's do the rounds. Oh, that's a bonfire, not a grave. So in theory, we still have a grave here somewhere. You got it. Re when you are. Though it is possible I'm it. misreading that quest prompt. Perhaps it is simply reminding us that we All found a forgotten grave <laughs> elsewhere. I mean, technically what? we found like a hundred <laughs> graves, but only one is on this island. We should make use of what can be found lying around. Maybe there's some good shit in here. Uh, gear, I mean. Eh, not really. The parts are nice, I guess, but... Let's go! We're pretty goggled out. On our way. Let us look at that. Let me check that bonfire real quick. Come on! On my way. Ooh. I mean, parts. We'll take them. Fall in and yell out if you see something. Oh, Francis. Hey. Uh, I will be right with you. Scully here. Huh. Intel plus meds. Oh, also human remains. Cool. Human remains in a bonfire marked with a sword. That's okay. Probably fine and normal. Yeah, okay. Not like there are any creepy houses here with potential serial killers yeah, in them, right? What? Francis? No lies, okay? Please be frank. We're moving out. They told me that Mum wanted to see me, but I came back home too late. She left a note saying that she wanted to be buried with Dad, but I can't find his grave at all. I know his final resting place is somewhere in this forest, in view of the river. Ah, okay, yeah, that, that tracks. No worries, I've got your brother. That is where his grave is. I guess it is for the best. The beast and the spirits of the forest will guard it, so he can rest in peace. Happy to help. Well, shoot, I was really hoping this would be something funny. I guess I will sleep outside for now. Uh-huh. She left a note saying that she wanted to be buried with Dad, but I can't find his grave at all. Pardon me, ma'am. Don't mind us. What have we got? No problemo, man! Well, that was a bummer. We go there, partner. But, you know, you've got to have your moments of pathos. It is a half serious game at times. Cool. We all go now. Anyway, uh, this feels like a good place to call sure. it. I'm going to go Let's ahead and moving. poke around the rest of the map off screen, but we will uh, pick up here next time. Six sectors cleared, but there's always Marat to do. Let's go, compadres. See you then. What?
Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant. Eloise, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dranket, Theory V23, Egon Alter, Excelsior, Goatleaf, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark Diemza, Nathan Welch Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Piatkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrug. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you can check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. I'm full of uh, concern. <laughs>